Good day, everyone, and thanks for stopping by Ferg TV. I'm Ray, and today's little project is we're going to put an apron sink in that sink base. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You need to cut out this area, zoop, to get that sink to fit in. So one would think you just take a measurement across the top there and just cut to the measurements. Well, if you do, you're going to be a little disappointed. I'll show you why. Is as we put this on here, our square, you can see the gap you got there. And the same thing on the other side. Oops. So, it's quite a gap. So, how will we perform this miracle? If you've been watching uh, a few episodes ago, I, I showed you how to make a little template for projects, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to put one piece of Luan across the bottom, make contact with the bottom, and then we're going to put a piece going up on each side that will represent that cutout. So if it's wavy or whatever it might be, then we might have to, uh, you know, cut the, cut the Luan to fit like a temp, you know, like a um, scribe it, we'll say. Uh, let me get set up and we're gonna do that. I'll show you how to do it. Well, maybe that'll give you a good view looking down at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the uh, bottom piece long, a few inches long. So that piece is gonna go here. The task will be trying to hold this thing in place. So even the bottom's not straight. That's, that's the deal with these sinks. It's pretty much the norm. Um, maybe I ought to take a little bit out of here. Because we're just gonna take a little out of the center, I'm just gonna clip this on right there. And we'll take a little out of there. It may seem like I was taking a lot out of there, but I was just barely touching it. One thing that I should do is put a center mark on this and a center mark on the sink. Oops. What we got here? All right, well, let's make this 36 because that's what our sink base is. So with that being 36, the center is 18 for those keeping score at home. So that is our center line. We're going to do the same thing on the sink base. I took a little off of there. Oh, that fits a heck of a lot better. Okay. So let's get a center mark on this sink. So we're about a quarter off. So instead of 15, I'm going to go 14 and 7 eighths. Okay, yep, just over seven eighths, just over seven eighths. Okay, so we have a center mark now, so we can go back to that each time. Now we're gonna let this sink overhang about an inch off the face of the cabinet. So I wanna keep that in mind when I make this. Our next little task is gonna be trying to hold this to the sink. And I've put an inch mark down two corners and in the center and I also have my center mark and I think we're going to use a little hot glue and see if we can't just get this to kind of stay here put some there I'll put some up the top and then I'll just have to clean that off of there which you're not going to see it anyway well that looks like it's going to be Wonderful. All right. So now we'll cut a couple of side pieces and then we're going to have a radius at the bottom. So that's where we've got to be careful. So we'll cut this right here, which shall have room to go up and up and down. 
And can we get a second one out of that? I think we can. Okay. That would be good. Now, what I don't think you're going to be able to do is glue a piece on and just let it set there. So, I need to put something to make that even with the top. That's important. Because that will be our gauge when we do our cutout. We'll know where the top of the sink is going to be. All right, well, as they say, no guts, no glory. So we'll get that on there. We'll get this on here. Get this leveled up, or evened up, it's not level. Hold that right there. Yeah, here's the question, will it stay? Whew. Well, it may stay with one and not with two, because then we're going to put more leverage on it. We're going to find out. Now, the only thing that I won't have is that radius right there, but I think I can fix that. Let's put this up here. And now this side is off a little bit more. So... Take, belt sand that a little bit right there. That might be enough. Well, let's see. Let's see what that did. Okay. Well, let's, let's do our thing. Okay. That, get it even with the top. Okay, we're good. So what we're doing by keeping this even at the top, that is uh, representing the bottom of the countertop. So this sink is gonna be underneath the countertop. So uh, the countertop is gonna be an inch and a quarter thick. So that it's gonna sit on the top of this. So it's important that we get this in and it's, it's even and level so that the countertop can just sit on it. Boy, I'll tell you what, that glue worked out pretty darn good. And I think we'll just take a little denatured alcohol to it and loosen it right up and take it right off of there. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so there's our template. But we need to mock this. So this is the face. This is right. and left. We're gonna take the doors off, get them out of the way. We don't wanna risk getting them damaged. And they're gonna be in the way anyway. So get them right out of our way. So it's a 36 inch cabinet. Yep, looks good. Now, where are we going to put our center lock? Oh boy, it doesn't really leave anything. Whoo, that bowl is deep. It's only going to leave like an inch. That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. Boy, that hot melt worked out really well on the sink. And it peeled right off with the... Uh, denatured alcohol. So these have to be equal to the top and then center that. All right, that is centered and even. Still centered and even. So if that's true, then we can trace our lines. So that is the exact reason that we did what we did so that we can come over here now and just carry our lines. 
So if the bowl was out or anything, we picked all that we picked it up on our template and then carried it over to here. Okay, we got a good line going across. Now the one thing we got to remember is we need a radius in the corners. And I did not cut one on here, but we'll just carry it on there. We'll put a radius in the corner. I just got to look. It looks like it's probably like a half an inch or something. I'll check that out. Nah, it's more like a quarter inch. In the meantime, this could be a good chance for you to go do the old up yours. Push that button. You'll satisfy YouTube. We made a quarter inch mark from the corner in both directions on both sides. And then we're just going to connect the dots. And there's your radius. Uh, I guess we're going to take the jigsaw to this. I think I'll put a piece of tape on the piece that we're saving so that we don't destroy it. So I'm leaving the line exposed. I don't want to cover it. I just want to get a piece of tape on there for protection. So we're only taping what we're saving. We don't care about the rest of it because it will be thrown away. Good. All right, let's see what we can do with what we've done. Good. Excellent. All right, let's make a, make sure we're here. Yep. Should be good. Just follow that line. chicken dinner that should be free geez who tightened that up All right it seems like all I ever do is get rid of the pieces that we don't want. Now, the most unfortunate part is I can't bring the sink over and check it because the sink weighs 190 pounds and that's above my limit. We've got to make this sturdy. That's not going to hold anything. And, and we're, going to, we're going to create a cradle that goes around in here, and it's going to hold the whole sink. It's 190 pounds. And I don't know how much water it holds, but water is uh, 8.34 pounds per gallon. So, you know, you could be adding another 20, 30 pounds to this thing, I guess. So we're going to build a, a cradle 
I'll design it and come back and get you. And uh, we're going to put this in and it's going to go to the bottom of this cabinet and then support the weight. It'll also be tied to the side. So the sides go right to the floor. So be, I don't want to just put a cleat on here. We're going to bring some legs right down also. And uh, yeah, it's heavy, you know. And then it'll be supported. And once I get a chance to, to check this, if everything's proper, we'll put a little sealer on it. And I didn't mention this before, but when I cut this, I don't know if you can see here, but I'll go down here. I didn't cut to the inside of the line. I cut right on the line and even over it a little bit. So if anything, the sink should be even with this or down a touch because then that allows us to shim up. So, and then we'll also attach this from the back side to that structure that we're gonna make. I think we'll make it out of like inch and a half poplar or something. I'll see what I got around. All right, I'll come back and get you. Through the magic of video, it is the next day. How about that? So I told you that I was going to come up with a plan for this um, support system, and I have. So we're going to have two front legs, and I put a spacer in here on each side. The reason that I did that is the hinges that are being used wrap around, so we need to leave space there. And it doesn't matter if I leave more than what I need for space as long as I leave the space. Now, I told you that this is pretty thin. So I put a one and a half by one and a half piece of poplar across there, which is gonna show down the bottom. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna paint this item, this item, and this item because they're gonna be seen. So we'll paint them, and we happen to have the right paint, so it'll match up. It'll look good. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is well not on this this is just the shim but we're going to take out this piece this piece and this piece which are not mounted they're just clamped on and i'm going to route the edges so that there's no sharp edges well i guess the uh the camera wasn't running you didn't miss much <clears throat> all i'm all i did was route uh whatever needed to be routed and i mocked everything with an arrow so i would know which uh which edges needed to be routed now we're going to go over to the table saw because the next step is to uh, is to notch this out. I've only mocked one because we'll make this cut and we'll do it on both of them and then we'll set up and do this cut and do it on both of them. All right, I'll meet you over there. This time we'll even run the camera. <laughs> As promised, the camera is running. <laughs> so I'm going to get set up here to make a couple of cuts. What I'm thinking is making this cut now whoop, is not going to be a problem obviously because this is connected and still connected even after you make the cut but if i cut this out and then i make this my last cut this piece because the blade's spinning is going to want to get bound up in there and come shooting out so i'm thinking if we make that cut first then we make that cut it'll just flip that piece down it won't it won't get it won't have as much to get bound up that's what I'm going with anyway. That's the theory. And here's another thing I just thought of. We're going to be doing this by hand unless I screw a board on here. Yeah, I guess I could, huh? Yeah, you know, it might not be that, that bad of an idea. Good thought. Okay. I think that's going to pay dividends. That was worth doing because that ran pretty slick, really nice. Otherwise, you'd have been all over the place. Sometimes you just got to, you got to do what you should do. Well, that's it, bottom line. All right, now we're going to set the height for this cut. And again, probably go a little bit past it. It'll be fine. But we've got to move this because this will be in the wrong place. Okay, get that out of the way. Get this set right there so we'll take this set it back up again just give it a little bit of space so it's not dragging on the fence all 
Okay. I think it's time to stop. Um, let's see. Some, th some things have to be put together inside over there. So I got to figure out which ones have to be put inside, put together inside. And I need to probably prime some of this stuff before it goes in there or seal it up. And then I'll be able to put a coat of paint on it. All right, let me figure that out. I'll be right back. This would be a great time if you got a little mustard in you to maybe go and give it the old up yours. Don't do it for me. Do it for YouTube. They love that sort of thing. I'll be right back. Enjoy yourself. Well, you're still in the pink. The years go by as quickly as you blink. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. It is test time. Did this stuff get put together properly? Well, you're going to find out with me. So this is the left. That's this guy. So I need that in there. And our spacer. And if it did, which I'm quite sure, I'm going to take it apart. Not fully. Some these pieces are going to stay together just like this and prime it up. And then tomorrow I'll paint it because you gotta wait a day to be able to put the paint on it. This guy in here. Okay. See so our back piece right here. Goes like that. Now that fits. And our front piece, which goes like so. It goes there. It goes there. Beautiful. The only thing I got left to do is drill and put a screw in there and there. And then when this goes in, then I'm going to screw and put it in, um, attach it. I might even drill it before I take it apart here. Put some screws in and then take them out. I'm only going to have a few screws. A couple up here probably, a couple here, a couple here. Well, it's more than a few, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This looks like a success. The only thing is I kept it down, you know, eh, about an eighth, which they suggested to leave it low so that you can shim that sink up and, and it's fine. But you gotta be careful when you put that sink in because it's gonna put pressure on that piece that's only an inch. So when I go to put this all back together and it's completed, I'll grab you and uh, that's gonna be another day before I do that. Show you what it looks like when we're done. But you get a pretty good idea. It's just gonna have paint on it at that point. But I'll show you the finished product. Everything is painted up. I ended up painting everything. What the heck, once you get the brush dirty, <laughs> you gotta clean up anyway one time. So all painted, well, primed, then painted. And this is ready to uh, have them go back in. So that's what we're gonna do next. There she be. Okay. Solid, baby. Got a few more screws to put in. That's pretty much it. All right, I'll come back and get you when we put the sink in. Tested the sink. I had to do it while I had a helping hand and then I forgot to tape it. Fit. It fit, 
but it came down, it dropped down to maybe about here. It was touching right in here. We took it out. I Well, first I put a piece of tape and a scribe line because the sides of these things are far from being straight. And they tell you that. So I cleaned it up with a belt sander. We went back in and it was still just a little tight. Put another mark, took a little more off. Perfect. So then I left the tape on and I just sealed it up, primed it. Oh, get that out of there. All right, so that's just a little fingernail work here. We'll get that out of there. But <clears throat> even though it fit and everything, uh, one thing I didn't take into consideration, I was thinking that the sink was going to ride on these because a lot of times we'll use a smaller sink base, and when we trim it out here, this piece usually catches the size of the bowl, the sides of the bowl. So I'm going to cut a couple of pieces, put them in here, so it's got a, it's got contact on the sides and the front and the back. All right, I put one of the cross braces in. I'll just show you what I did. I'm going to put a little Fina seal on there just to act as a, uh, as a glue or binder because this is already painted, so glue's not going to stick to it. I'll just put a little bit just to solidify it. Take and just kind of move it around so the big bunches would get pushed right out of there. Now, at least I know I got some on there. All right, let's get this in place. I got a couple of lineup marks. I don't know if you can see it, but there's nothing too fancy about this. That's going to make life a lot easier. Just want to get that started. And then we're going to put a clamp up here just to hold it. So right now everything wants to go everywhere. There. Just to get it to balance up here. It's not where it, where it needs to be, but it won't fall down. And that's all I'm looking for. to pull it down so we're going to put the screw up from the bottom and we'll make them work together here probably if you go the right way with it back it out a little bit so when you don't pre-drill a hole don't go ramming the screw in go easy back it out go back in they are auger bit screws but I like the pre-drill I just didn't do it here. And we've got this even with the top, relatively speaking. It's only, it's only gonna house a sink that's not really even anyway. That's beautiful actually. We'll put that right where it belongs. We'll drill a hole in the back, put a screw through over here. Get that even, there it is. Womp, there it is. Okay, I'll go right there. Everybody's gonna be happy, or at least I will. There, beautiful. Okay, all right. Throw my doors on, and we're gonna call this project done. So here's the tabs I was talking about, and that's the exact reason, I don't know if you can see it, but we left the space up here in the front. It's bigger, obviously, than what we need, but it doesn't matter. It only matters if you didn't leave it. Now these screws, you can go either square drive or Phillips, and the square drive seems to work out better. Well, I'm going to take back what I said. That thing is not back f too far. It is, I was thinking about leaving room for that tab. I'm going to show you in a second what I'm talking about. And it's a good thing I went back where I did or I'd be in trouble. So there's something that I overlooked. 
it worked out. I'm gonna switch the other camera and show you. So here's what I've been talking about, leaving this space right here. And the space was for the little tab on the back side, which keeps the, the hinge in place when you're adjusting it. I didn't take into consideration the hinge itself sticks back that far. So it's a good thing that I stayed back that far. I would have been in trouble. Any, any less and I'd be modifying. So, well, that's the end of this little project. Thanks for stopping by. And if you got enough mustard, if it, I don't even know if you lasted till the end, but if you did, you've got mustard, you've got moxie, baby. Go give it the old up, up yours if you would. Don't do it for me, do it for YouTube. They love that sort of thing. They got people that stay up all night. They count the up yours. Don't put somebody out of work. I'll see you on the next one.